And what's happening is that people have been told that the Quran, the Bible, and things like that is the rule book, right? Mm -hmm. But they didn't tell them Book of the Dead and books that originate before them that are at the basis of it. Oh, you get the point? Mm -hmm. And the Kabbalion is at the root of the Gnostic wisdom from which all of them are derived. That's what I'm saying. I want to share this too. I mean, it's a little lengthy, but I want to share this mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people online. Um, there's a, a woman by the name of Peggy Black. I interviewed mm -hmm. her a few years ago on my um, my Reawakening Minds radio when I was yeah. on Block Talk. And she is a specialist in vibrational he healing and she goes all over the world. Mm -hmm. But she also channels um, some off world group called the mm -hmm. Team. Mm -hmm. And I've been getting the she they call them morning messages. And once a month, whatever the team says, she prints it. Mm -hmm. And this is what she this is what came out for the April. This is a message from the team. And I want you all to hear this because I'm talking about, you know, what we're going through. And it, they mm -hmm. kind of talk about some of it because they're not in this dimension. They see things mm -hmm. that we I already don't understand it. OK, you know, I understand it, it says. And here's the, this is the team stop talking. We are here to support you as you experience the turmoil and the dismantling of the reality that you have known. This is the first time that your planet has come close to a full stop. It's shocking, disturbing, and frightening. This is a major reset in consciousness. This experience is offering the opportunity to observe all that was out of balance. This imbalance has been present for eons. It is global, financial, personal, and its inequality. Individuals have lost their connection with nature and the consciousness of all other living things. Now in the moment when everything that is normal and natural has come to a stop, individuals are pausing and staying quiet. It is in this quietness and in this pause that they are becoming aware, aware that things will be different. Individuals are having the opportunity to pause in their busyness, to sit quietly and reflect on the truth of who they are. Mm -hmm. In this time of reflection, they are becoming aware that they are more than this physical body. They are not rushing, pushing, running from one event or activity to another. This level of quietude is allowing the light that is bathing your planet to be anchored more fully within each and every individual. We invite you to hold steady in your awareness and your connection to this truth. Understand that there is going to be a great deal more disruption and struggle before this is totally complete. There, there is an ascension shift that is affecting your planet. However, understand that it will impact the entire universe. This magnification of light is designed to energize all that is light upon the earth and within all humans the power of this light has created a disturbance of fear and negativity which has been hidden buried and locked into the earth waiting for a time when humanity was ready to transmute this energy lifetimes of abuse negativity and injustice are waiting to be transformed some people are exerting control over others using fear and wanting to suppress the spiritual awakening process that is taking place. This virus is a product of the negative and fearful energies arising to be released and transformed. This virus and its impact upon the world are allowing humanity to recognize the presence of fear of negative and misqualified energies, to recognize suffering and to begin to create positive shifts within their being. So your balance and stability will assist your planet in this transition. You are in the midst of the changes. There's always discord and confusion when things begin to change. Human consciousness wants things to go back the way they were, to go back to quote unquote mm -hmm. normal, even wasn't. if that normal was out of balance, unfair, harmful to others and to nature. You and many others are observing as well as dismantling layer, mantling layers and layers of dense beliefs, an old energy that is stored in your very, very cells. We celebrate the work that you are doing. If you could see the energy of light that your collective consciousness is expressing, you would be stunned and amazed. Many lifetimes ago, 
There was a period you have called the burning times. For several hundred years, individuals were killed because of their connection with nature and with plants. When healers, mystics, midwives, and herbalists were burned at the stake, this evoked such fear in the collective consciousness that people were very conscious to be um, express intuitive abilities or their connection with the spirit beings, the gnomes, the fairies. They suppressed these divine connections and gifted abilities in their children. This was a grave injustice upon humanity. You are experiencing the results of this injustice today. People felt disconnected from nature, therefore allowing for nature to be raped trees to be cut down without any protest or concern for the well-being or balance of the planet. This imbalance is causing the next great extinction um, with the disappearance of the rainforest, the melting of the permafrost and climate changes with all its mm -hmm. powerful destruction, weather patterns affecting the global population. The result has been the unconscious, arrogant thinking and behavior of humans who believe that they were separate and superior from all other life forms. Human beings were never given permission to harm, destroy, and devalue other life forms. This thinking has harmed the other kingdoms, plant, animal, divic, mm -hmm. elemental, nature, spirit, as well as even other humans. Animals, trees, plants, and even rocks have levels of consciousness. This truth needs to be recognized and honored. Since we acknowledge that the presence of this virus is causing a feeling of distress, depression, and desolation, anxiety and anger we are inviting you to step into a level of trust in divine consciousness in this level of trust which will allow you to transform these negative and you were talking about we have to change our these negative and misqualified emotions use your tools as an alchemist to transform these negative energies with sound vibrations use your conscious heart portal to call upon divine beings to support you and this planet as it transforms and transcends. Use the powerful tools, St. Germain, so you know, St. Germain's violet, mm -hmm. flame, violet flame to transmute all energy unlike the divine love and trust available to all. You can observe how the air is clearer and the water's cleaner while there is a stop in most all activities. And we've seen pictures all over where, mm -hmm. where it used to be small filled and now you can see, mm -hmm. Disney, okay. We invite you to stay centered in your own understanding of truth. Trust that all is unfolding as it should. Transform, transform, transform all energy that arises that is not life sustaining. Don't entertain the negative stuff. Mm -hmm. This is your job. You came here to be present while this massive global stop was taking place so you could plant the seed of this new beginning and this new reality that has come into form. We are here for you to support, assist, guide, and honor you as you move through these incredible life changes, the team. And this is pretty much what we were talking about the last time. Mm -hmm. And this is also why we're telling people they need to know that they are transceivers. They are transceivers. But they need to be conscious of that, that they're transceivers. And the other the other deal is is, is that um, it's good that you know more and more people who are qualified to the priesthood are speaking up, right? You know, um, and um, again, like we were saying earlier, we're not going back to normal. What what we were in was not normal. <laughs> No, that's what they yeah, said. Yeah, we're, even even our normal was was out of order. What we assumed yeah. was normal we was in darkness, and this is why. And I was and every time I look at that imagination picture, and I was thinking, you know, like we've been telling the people, the Earth is going through the futon belt, mm -hmm. and this is the new light. The new light. The we're we're this, feeling that Aquarian that Aquarian light, yes. that Aquarian energy, and what Aquarius speaks to is. I know I where know. Pisces was, I believe. Yeah. Beliefs are Whatever dead. Whatever you tell me, I believe. Beliefs are dead. Now, this is why we encourage people, you know, not to feel guilty for giving up belief systems. The belief systems have been a dead weight on humanity. Right. And have been disguised as religious spirituality. And the fact, not the opinion, the fact is they were not and are not. And this is again why I say, you know, like, you know, when people 
when people contemplate, you know, their training that they've had over the years from childhood and in their adult life and the different organizations they belong to, I, I look, and this is why, and, and I don't want to overemphasize it because it's not just there. You know, it's not just it. This is why I always recommend the Cardallion mm -hmm. because I found that as, as from a piece of a, lit, a literal, uh, a literary position to be the, the most immediate laxative and baptism instrument that you can present to someone without having to, you know, debate with them, debate with them, debate with them, debate with them, argue with them or trying to see, because you get past, you know, like, uh, uh, um, you ever notice how a lot of times when we're trying to argue the morality of things, when actually when you stop and think about it, you shouldn't have to argue the morality of things because it's in our nature. We've just been ignoring it or suppressing it out of fears because because Rome has been doing evil things to people and they know if they take a, a moral or ethical position, they will be attacked by Rome through the use of their corporate systems, etc. But no one, not too many people want to openly speak of that, what I just said, yet that is the truth. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, and I'm saying uh, this without overemphasizing, the Gabalion is a tool literary tool that everyone should have in their library a hard copy and the older ones are better mm -hmm. it, it, it made me think when you were talking um i don't know why i brought that's why I, plus I, look i got bob marley over there oh yeah <laughs> i got bob marley on the wall but it reminded me of a of a, a, a grab I, I i scrambled over there to grab this my book mm -hmm. and the song that i had written this in my book mm -hmm. um the words of it um the lion of the tribe of judah yeah go ahead. and that's who we are you i mean even, even though even though i wrote this you know in the setting of a you know when we were in church and we i mean we mm -hmm. sister tracy sang this song uh, i don't know if she's gonna lie but the words are you're the lion of the tribe of judah send judah first and mm -hmm. you know judah mm -hmm. You know, we, 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 and it's really Judah, right? Judah, because and, there's no J, and it was a yeah. Judah line of the tribe of Judah, Judah, but it says Judah. Um, and send you the first, which actually was praise. And when we, we always looked at Judah mm -hmm. as praise, so instead of being sad and fearful and everything, mm -hmm. we need to lift it. It, it says, Go for it, and it goes, the first verse goes, We're marching in the battle, mm -hmm. we know we've won the war, he's given us the victory and favor evermore. You're the lion of the tribe of Judah. Send you mm -hmm. the first. And the second verse says, we're marching in the battle. Our sword and shield we bear. We manifest the kingdom in all its splendor here. And then, it, and then the reprise, the bridge goes, all ye kingdom people, raise your banner high with your voice of triumph. Give your war cry. And and we, what I'm saying to the listeners, I'm not trying to get y'all in church because I'm not there anyway, but I'm saying from a standpoint of unity, saying mm -hmm. you, when I say you're the lion of the tribe of Judah, I'm talking about every last one of us collectively. True, yeah. And when we do what we do collectively with one with a with a war cry of victory, already know. Imagine going into battle knowing that you already won. Yeah. So you go in, don't go in like in through this thing as if you're defeated. Or doubt. Or doubting yeah. that you, yeah, you already, you've already won this thing. And the confidence that is needed. And again, in support of that, you know, this is why I say, you know, uh, um, you know, it's sort of like I, I'm saying it for those who are listening. You know, but I'm just saying for the ones who are listening. If it, it is contained in your mind at this time, the fundamental phenomena, principles of the seven hermetic laws, as an example, which are at the foundation of all true religions, all. You know, where the Kai Valium comes straight out and direct without without any lace. You know, it's like the castor oil you, your mm -hmm. grandma give you. Right. You know, can I have some orange juice with that? Nah, here, take <laughs> it. You know, it's like it's like that. And it, it, it's sort of like um until one begins to get into literature like that or foundation principle literature, they can't 
it's not that they can't it's not that they won't evolve to they eventually is that it, it cuts short a lot of misery years of learning that people it be, in other words you don't need to be beat up all your life before you learn you know because then you can go back to the bible you know to the quran to to and go beyond that and go to the root of the gnostic of the gnostic philosophies and the cosmology culture and the questions are released because they're no longer necessary because now you understand the math of it all uh -huh. see the Cardalian is sort of like gives the average person the math of the philosophy as opposed to trying to convince you to accept it. It, it, it gives you what the root is. Now you can accept it or reject it, but then once you get it, see what happens is nature supports it and you can't deny it because it makes you see what you really weren't paying attention to. And what you weren't taught. Exactly. Well, you weren't taught. We, we, we weren't taught these things. The thing that we really needed to learn and know that we would have learned, it was, I just read where some, I think somebody put up here their state, Illinois or something, has passed a bill now that, you know, you can't, you can't refuse vaccination. And I saw of where- Of course, because they, they're running their game. They're, run, they're trying to get these people killed off because it's like this. It, and this is basically what I was saying earlier. You know, even when, uh, um, when the listener uh, uh, um, called in and said, "You, what do we do now? What do you mean when I say we're all, you know, uh, I'm not saying that, you know, you, you missed the bus. I'm saying pay attention to what they're doing. They're openly showing you they're your enemy. Right. Reject them. Rebut them. You must publicly rebut them. You can't stay silent. And you must be willing to, if you have to be a martyr, if be a martyr you for truth. must you For must truth. decide that you're not going to serve two masters because you're not going to get away with this anymore. Now, the deal of it is, our people have been claiming to love justice. Now, we know justice metaphorically, Jesus. Jesus means justice. Right. We know not, not etymologically, metaphorically, mm -hmm. Jesus means justice. Justice has been hung on the cross for centuries. Right. So now you either decide that justice is not dead or it remains dead with you. That's what I mean. D do you understand what I'm saying now? They've been claiming to love justice. Now, guess what? They want to prove it because all masks are off. This is why I've been telling people all masks are off. See, the confusion must leave because you got to stop pretending. It, you can't fool no more. Understand that. Um, your pajamas, you know the old pajamas that they showed the great grandpa used to wear, which had two buttons in the back. Mm -hmm. Well, the buttons are is off, and your keisters is out. Get over it. You know everybody's uh, oop, cheap keisters. Uh, you know I'll pull you, you know, back of your pajamas up, and get to work. For erudite training, the best place to get, you know, I hope that the I would. I hope the people that are watching or listening are have been trained have been giving their children that 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 scholarly training at home and probably learn more at home if you would best take thing you time. can do is take your children out of the hands of rome right because now the pope said give Ooh. me they said if you for give real. me the child for the first seven years i'll show you the man in other mm -hmm. words i will formulate they will mold them I, yeah one of the things that um they know is that in the first seven almost the first six to seven years of a child's life that they're in what their brain is in, what operating under theta. And theta yes. is sort of learning, is learning mode. It's just yes. recording. So yes. if you have your children under they the influence, mold them. They, they become will, theirs. They become theirs and they know this. And so they've done this to their own children. They've molded them into be the, the loud, to be the monsters that they've become. Because And these children have had to have, they have multiple personalities because they have to figure out which one can deal with what part and, of their aspect and, and, of their life. Exactly. So what are you they? Zombie you, robots. You, you give the, the erudite training to your own children. Don't put them back if you don't have to um, in this system. And and, and this is the, the, the deal. Education set up facility training for animals. Erudition. Erudition is learning systems for humans for human development, et cetera. That's the distinction. Keep that in mind and work with it. 
Um, also, for those of you who are listening, you can probably just go on any website and go read the philosophy page of, of John D. Rockefeller and Frederick T. Gates in their um, founding of the General Education Board, and you will see that they had no good intentions for your children, logically, not for you. And so, uh, again, start trusting yourself um, and understand that um, while Rome and Roman Curia members, also known as Democratic and Republican Party of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, have been raping the planet and raping you and declaring themselves as God and misusing all technology to injure and harm humanity, that you must willingly and bravely speak out and not accept or consent to any of the platforms that they present, for their platforms are only darkness and death, which is what you've been getting. It's just that the discomfort that we're having right now is that the doo-doo has hit the fan and recognize with brown spots, the doo-doo has hit the fan and you know it's time to clean your house. Clean for yourself, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Try not, although it's difficult to feed into anger and or any meanness, because they feed on that, keep that in mind. They love to see people in misery. They love to see people fighting. They love to see bloodletting. That is truthfully their religion. That's for real. That's like for truth. It's not opinion. So don't do anything to feed that. Take your energy and your time. Convert. If you're going to do any conversion whatsoever, take your faith out of those institutions and put it in yourself and into the appreciation that your mother brought you here and trust that her mother brought her here to bring you here. And it's time for us now to flower out and be the seeds of our mothers. And if your mother's worthy, certainly you are. If your mother brought you here, certainly wasn't the corporate state. So honor your mothers and your fathers and help however you can with your goodwill, your best will, your best intention to make this planet a better place for all to live. And study the Cabalion. And again, I'm not putting that out as some wherewithal, some win it all. But I know that for the average person that has a limited knowledge into the Gnostic wisdom of their ancient mothers and fathers, that is one of the closest shortcut books that can be used to baptize or to purge anyone from the dogmatic misconceptions and the anthropomorphic misuse of the teachings of the Bible, Quran, or any other book, take you most directly to the fundamental truths. Then you can go back to them books and know this, you go back to them books with shades off and no more Imams, rabbis, and reverends are going to have their hands in your pockets stealing from your family anymore after that. <clears throat> However, if you want to help build some things with people who are trying to build things for humanity, that's where you put your finance. That's where you put your time. That's where you put your service. And with that, I yield the floor. Well, I thank you, <laughs> Grand Sheik. Um, I think it's been a lively discussion. Um, I just want to put out there that starting on Tuesday, mm -hmm. which is what the fourth, I believe it is May 4th will be the premiere or the debut of office hours mm -hmm. with Dr. Good. G and, good, good, good. um, the doctor will be in, I'm hoping to have a guest <laughs> on my first on my first show, but I haven't confirmed it yet, but um, I'm hoping to have him um, confirmed by tomorrow so that I make sure, otherwise mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be there flapping my gums by myself. <laughs> but I want um, the, I hope that the listeners will tune in. Um, we will go, uh, it will be live on my Office Hours with Dr. G Facebook Good. page. 
And I think I will also probably try to go live on our House of Reawakening Minds YouTube page good, good. Um, simultaneously. So I hope that you all were, will tune in Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 8 to 10, um, Office Hours with Dr. G. We have a lot of things going on at House of Reawakening Minds mm -hmm. between Sister Tamara and I. Oh, and, yes. and, and all Mind of you all. We, I think it's oh, something almost yes. like every day of the week. Um, yeah. Next next Friday, we will have um, Brother Abdullah and Brother Shem Malagai Kai Bay back on um friday and on thursday i know there will be the blog talk yes. radio show with sister chairman i'm not sure who the guest is but we are trying and our I, best yeah i to, know a lot of people are appreciating the work that abdullah shem and tamara is doing mm -hmm. because you know as we've always told people law and history goes together and it's good that they set their platform up and make sure that the people are getting it because they can see through uh, a lot of things better and also navigate better absolutely. with the carpenter's tools. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So we appreciate you all. We appreciate those of you who have uh, um, sent us donations. Some did while since we've been yes. on. And um, we always, yes. even though we're we not- thank you all because they, they're the trying work. to strangle, they're trying to strangle everybody, which you already know, right. to shut this stuff down because they really don't want the world wake. But guess what? They can't stop it now because it is the Aquarian. Now, also, when you talk about Yuda, you know, mm -hmm. you got to look at um, many people who will have Leo in their chart. Okay. Or operative in this wee awakening. It doesn't negate everyone else. But if you look at the charts of a lot of these people, um, they may be, you know, with other suns and moon signs, et cetera. However, you'll find Either their, Leo or their sun or the rising. Yeah. That that sun, that 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 Leo energy is there. You know, that motherly want to cure and fix things. Yes. Well, we are we appreciate each and every one of you. It is now mm -hmm. um 10 30. We will sign off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we will oh, sign, yeah. yeah, we will sign off. Yeah, we I've been working and working and up and working. Well, we appreciate up. everybody yes. for um, taking, you know, for bearing with us as we yes. um, modify what we're doing in this um, time of, of uh, social distancing yeah. and so forth. But um, we're here. I saw some comments that said they are, they like the way mm. I mean, this is a better sound. I mean, we like coming mm. together mm -hmm. with with our with, with folks in the room yeah. besides you and me and, and the dog and the cat. Yeah. But you know, if we can come to you right now, we know that this reaches far. So, you know, this is going, going to go good. Yes. This is global. And we appreciate you um, taking the time and, and communicating. We don't know what happened with the Facebook today. Something happened. It should have been. Always does. It should have been simulcasted on, on both of them. We'll figure it out. But YouTube was probably the most important. We, we, always, well, we can put the fair. Facebook. We can put the uh, we can put the uh, YouTube. Uh, it never, it, it never, it never. How do you say? It never glitches when they want to spy on people. <laughs> we can put it down there. <laughs> <laughs> but we thank you so much for tuning in, mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to be one of these uh, Fridays. We're going to have um, my daughter Maisha come on. Oh yeah, and oh, sing oh, sing oh. us the reawakening mind yeah. song that we have been playing lately. So she's the one that wrote it and sings yes. it. But um. Until next time, we thank you. I'm going to um, let him, uh, let me see what I'm going to do right here. <laughs> I'm going to do this. I hope you all are willing to let go of those things. The blind faith, the dog model, the fiat, was it? Systems. The color law, law. Color, color law. law office, office, color listen, color authority. authority. And I hope we gave you some tips on how to go up. Self-governing. Right? Yep, the way out is up. So thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time. Peace. Peace.